<laughs> Why, hello there everyone, I'm the Kumo Sensei, and today we're talking about the Isekai series, Am I the Strongest? And yes, I talked about this series last time, and last time the anime was just announced, but this time guys, we have an update. There's an anime trailer, and I believe they released some character visuals as well. So without further ado guys, let us check this out, and let us see what this is about. From my understanding, this is like a light-hearted, not so serious, uh, overpowered fantasy isekai series. But uh, let us check this out so we can get more out of it. Let's go. Alright everybody, here we are. Let's go. Am I actually the strongest? Isekai TV anime reveals poor parenting in first trailer. Five more cast members were also announced. This article is written by Daryl Harding, so there goes credit, where credit is due. And let us get straight into it. When you're reincarnated into another world, you hope that your parents would just be kind. But sometimes the roll of the dice, or in this case, goddess, just doesn't bring the luck. This is the new life that Hart has been dealt and showcased in the first trailer for the upcoming TV anime adaptation of Sai Sumimori's light novel series, Am I Actually the Strongest? Along with more cast members. Alright everybody, here's the trailer. Oh boy, so without further ado... Let us get the headphones on and let us check this out. Let's go. All right, everybody. I got the headphones on and let us react to this. Oh boy. Another isekai. Let's go. Okay. This goddess sounds very careless. Just by the voice actor alone. Oh boy. So it is a lighthearted series. Definitely lighthearted series. Oh, he's already OP at birth. Okay. <laughs> yes, I am the demon lord. Oh, wow. Hato. Haruto. What is going on here? I don't... <laughs> So we got a wolf girl, a lowly. Jisuha ore saikyo deshita. Huh. They put a romaji title. That's pretty interesting as well. So it's coming out July of this year. Interesting. So the summer anime, huh? Okay, cast and staff, what studios, Staple Entertainment. Not familiar. Okay, I'm not familiar with this, guys. Sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to absorb everything that I've seen so far. So, essentially, he got thrown out, and this is basically our wolf girl here. Okay, that's pretty interesting. And this guy basically proclaims he's the demon lord. Okay, that's... Nothing too crazy, honestly. Like... Oh man, I'm gonna get cancelled for saying this, but this feels like your typical, stereotypical, like, this is just your regular isekai. <laughs> don't, don't cancel me for that, guys. I've seen so many isekais nowadays. I don't really get tired of them if, if it's not too formulaic, but this seems like very formulaic, but it is lighthearted, so you're not supposed to take this seriously. So at least for me... Like, if I watch this, I can just sit back and enjoy myself and just not worry about, like, if stuff goes crazy or wacky. Because some isekai takes itself way too seriously. This one just looks like something I can sit back and have fun with. So at least there's a positive to this, guys. But without further ado, though, let us jump back in. What am I saying? Let us jump back into the article and let us see what more information we could get out of this. Let's go. All right, everybody. I got the headphones off. So let us continue. Joining the cast of the Isekai series is Wakana Kuromochi, Cuff, and the Duke of Death and his maid as Liza. I'm not too familiar with uh, Wakana Kuromochi's uh, works and what she voices as, but this character here is pretty cute though. Nothing too crazy. It's very subtle in terms of the color of, of uh, what you call it, blue here. Very monotone. Doesn't mean it's bad, but uh, let us continue. Alrighty, let us continue. Shinosuke Tachibana, Aoshi and Blue Lock as Lias. I think that's how you pronounce it. Shinosuke Tachibana, this guy is a godly voice actor. For those who don't know, he voices uh, Minato and Sakire, and he also voices uh, Takizawa, aka Pineapple, <laughs> and Tokyo Ghoul. 
Uh, it's, man, this guy voices everyone. It's crazy. So he's voicing Elias? That's okay. What I find so interesting about this is that Elias, this character design here, is so simple. And Shinosuke Tachibana, man, his range is amazing. He voices all the cool or all the aesthetic characters. But I highly recommend everybody go check out uh, Shinosuke Tachibana's works. That guy voices a lot of characters. You'll be surprised, man, if you haven't searched up his IMDb or his, <laughs> his roles that he's been voicing. Alrighty, let us continue. Okay, here we go. Monica Iwami, Akane in Oshi no Ko as Marianne. Monica Iwami, that's so nice, man. For those who don't know, she voices Toru in Fruits Baskets. I believe she also voices uh that one character in Genshin Impact. Was it Amber, I think? I could be wrong on that, but I know she voices Toru or Toru in uh, Fruits Basket. So yeah, this looks like a character she would totally voice, Marianne, like the soft-hearted characters. Definitely fits her role on this character, I tell you what. Alrighty, let us continue. Ami Koshimizu, Holo or Horo, <laughs> and Spice and Wolf as Arisphilia. Oh boy, man, they have all these powerful voice actors. That is insane. Ami Koshimizu voices like all the cool characters, like all the cool female characters. As a matter of fact, she's like, she voices so many. <laughs> So, if you watch Code Geass, she actually voices uh, Karen, and she also voices uh, Ryuko and Kill a Kill as well. I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty certain that I'm right about that. And she's voicing Iris Philia, this character here. That actually matches, oh man, this is the type of character she would be voicing. <laughs> Nobody talks about voice actors nowadays, but they deserve so much credit, especially like these legendary voice actors. All right, let's continue. These voice actors are getting crazier and crazier. I can't believe it, man. Misaki Kuno. <laughs> Mrs. Lowly. Oh, man, that is crazy. Misaki Kuno, Faputa, and Made in Abyss as Tear. For those who don't know, Misaki Kuno, literally, she voices every single lowly character almost. Yup, that looks like a lowly character. <laughs> so for those who don't know, she actually voices Hawk in uh, The Seven Deadly Sins. And, um... Uh, Dang, what's that character's name in 86? The little girl, uh, Frederica. I think she voices uh, Frederica as well in 86. And Misaki Kuno, like me and, our, and my small group of friends, okay guys, we call her Mrs. Loli because she voices, she literally voices Lolis. Like search up, <laughs> search up Misaki Kuno and her voice roles. Like you'll be surprised at how many Lolis and little girls she's voiced in. Like <laughs> she's... She's the go-to, I'll tell you what, when it comes to lowlies and voice acting. Man, I have to admit, I'm, I'm very intrigued by the level of talent they was able to bring in for this anime project. It is beyond me. Like, how could they afford it? It's crazy. The, okay, but let us continue though, guys. The Am I Actually the Strongest light novel series written by Sai Sumimori was originally published on the Shochitsuka Ninara website beginning in September of 2018 with five volumes released as of October of 2021 from Kodansha with illustrations by Ai Takahashi. A manga adaptation also illustrated by Takahashi began serialization in April of 2019 on the Niko Niko Suiyobi no Serious website with the eighth volume release in Japan on February 9th. Kodansha USA releases the English edition of the manga and describes the series as such. To be reincarnated into another world with promise of a cheap power is one thing. But to be reborn as a baby and then left for dead after your royal parents think you're powerless? That's another thing entirely. Now, the newly born Reihardt, or Hart to his new friends, must find his way through a dangerous world. But luckily, he's got magic that's quite literally off the charts. And the article pretty much ends here. But I have to admit, while I am not too impressed of the summary and the, like, this anime overall, the voice actors go so hard here. It is... <laughs> Like, the, like, okay, I don't know how to explain it. It's like, how do you get such high level talent on such a standard isekai anime? Look, I'm not saying this is a bad series because I haven't seen it yet. But from what I've seen so far in this trailer here, it doesn't really give me any strong impressions of like, this is something completely different or something unique. This is more so of a laid back series just to enjoy as, a, as like a side anime. 
if you want like a side, uh, you know, like a side isekai to enjoy, I guess. So to see the voice actors here, it is honestly, I'm impressed. <laughs> I don't say that lightly too. Like I'm, I'm truly impressed with the level of voice acting talent here. But without further ado, everyone, I'm the Kumo Sensei. I upload every single day. I do daily amazing uploads. So please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay updated to whenever I upload here on the channel. I upload daily. So please feel free to do so. And also follow me on my IG and my Twitter. And uh, join us on the Discord. Links to everything is down below. So please go check it out. And also stop by whenever I live stream. I live stream anytime between uh, 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. United States Eastern Time. And with that, that's really about it. See you.